Today we'll be looking at Kirak's Memory of the Pantheon. I've already done a video on this, but I wanted to actually take, t take the time to uh, make something uh, with commentary in it, because uh, I traditionally haven't done commentary for a lot of my PoE videos, and I want to uh, make sure I get the whole set of memories with commentary. So we're currently at uh, Lunaris Touch Shrine, so all the rares here will be uh, Lunaris Touched. And when you hit the shrine, you get a uh, bonus. So cold damage, chain, additional pro projectiles, projectile avoidance. You also get normal shrines like the... Uh, what is this? Massive Shrine? Yeah, like the Massive Shrine. Oh, Solaris Shrine. Cool. That'll give me a big bonus to my elemental stuff, which is great, because that's what I mainly have. Oh. And then there's also Beyond Bosses, I guess. Okay. Fully now. Okay. Uh, Solaris is increased fire damage, always crits, take no damage from crits, and avoid elemental ailments. Pretty frickin' good, especially for this build. Let's see if we can find a Brian King and a uh, Arakali. They don't actually prevent multiples from spawning, or make sure that all four spawn for in every map. So, yep, here's another Solaris. So we might not actually see the Brian King, or our, our Kali, but hopefully we get a chance to find one. Major god, like, pantheon buffs from the shrines are always special. They uh, are much stronger than the average... Uh, oh, no, I guess we're done. They're much stronger than the average uh, shrine buff, even like the normal major shrines. Um, for example, the diamond shrine gives you always crit, but Lunaris gives you always crit plus a bunch of other shit. Which is pretty awesome. Let's see if I can find uh, the Brian King or Arakali in a different map. Okay, so here we are in race course, and I found an Arakali shrine here. Let's see what sort of buffs it gives. Besides suffering. <laughs> okay. Our Kali. Your power. Your power imbues within me. Oh my gosh. There's always like one or more touched mobs in the uh, in the mix with each of the god touch shrines. Okay, so our Kali shrine gives increased chaos damage. Physical and elemental damage is chaos damage and reduced damage over time. Cool. That's more or less just what I would expect from Arakali. You get some pretty extreme buffs to the maps as well, so there's a lot of extra monsters here. Let's see, who do we have here? We have a Lunaris Shrine, okay. And there's the Lunaris Touched. Now let's see if we can find the uh, Arakali Shrine. Not Arakali. Let's see if we can find a Brian King Shrine somewhere. Oh, right here. That's convenient. Ah, uh, the last of the four Pantheon Shrines. Let's grab that. Probably give me some nice buffs to deal with these. Something really cool is uh, because they're each Im because they each have like one thing or more imbued with the god's powers, when you actually have the shrine buff, it helps you defeat those monsters specifically because you cannot be chilled, frozen, or stunned, and you take some you can take some physical oh, you take some physical damage as cold. Oh, yes, okay. So like that gives a pretty big advantage to uh um when actually fighting the monsters because like I mean, Lunaris is likely to uh, freeze you or chill you based on uh, the fields. So, or not Lunaris, um, Brian King. So it's pretty nice to actually have this br this shrine while fighting this shrine. <laughs> and that is the majority of the Pantheon. But yeah, that is the... Uh, that is Kiarok's memory of the Pantheon. Definitely enjoying the extra things it adds to the maps, and you can always make them delirious if you want, so... Pretty cool addition to the game.